You're out here dominating film festivals. You have the audience laughing. You're winning awards. But what has been more rewarding for you? The audience laughing or get the awards? Oh, you know, we love uh, to hear laughter. I'm a stand-up comic, and laughter is a drug. <laughs> There's nothing like, you know, just seeing the smiles on people's faces and uh, getting those LOLs. That fuels my uh, adrenaline. And oh my gosh, the fact that you said dominating festivals, I'm still like, this is, these are my first festivals, so I don't even know. Thank you for saying that. Um, that's, that's the most rewarding thing. You know, accolades and recognition are always just like such an honor to be validated by, uh, the, by those people and to have that sort of validation. But like, the best feeling for me I've loved since I was little is just making people laugh. And the reason people laugh, I think, is because they relate to something, they recognize it, and then they laugh because they're like, oh my God, I've been there too. And the fact that a lot of people are watching this movie with four Asian faces at the lead, um, and especially with like my character and the emotional journey she goes on as well, and you feel that emotional reaction, that means a lot of people related to it. What has been more rewarding for you? Uh, the money. <laughs> <laughs> Paying my rent, feeding my family, my kids. There you go. And a movie like this, for, for any culture, is not the norm. Okay, can you talk about what that has been like for you? For me, to be honest, I feel like I've always been um, not that normal anyway. So like, I'm like, sure, I guess I'm a part of this film. Um, but it's it's cool to see a film that's like not afraid to be big, be funny, and like have these big set pieces. Like, and I think it's exciting given, you know, the the makeup of the cast and the creators. This has always been one of my favorite genres to watch. I can watch Bridesmaids, Hangover, the Girls Trip over and over and over again. And I don't think I even realized that there was never a movie in that genre that I could that I could watch and relate to and just laugh and know that if I was having a bad day, have a good time um, with someone who looked like me. And so it really is just like, it's kind of larger than life right now. I'm just like so happy um, that something that we work so hard on and that we had a good time making is making people feel that way. But um, yeah, why don't you talk to me in like 10 years when I have time to reflect? Something that has been really fulfilling is making my mom proud. You know, I was born in Shanghai. I'm an immigrant. We never would have dreamt of doing this. You know, I, my mom never would have dreamt of my face on a billboard and look at us because the bar was set so low because society didn't expect us to shine this hard. This ultimate road trip and everybody's got to take a snack. But if you had to describe this movie in snack form, what would it be? Um, like crunchy, like it's got, it has a bite to it. Do you know what I mean? It's refreshing. Oh my God, this is definitely flaming hot, uh, uh, dried, uh, or flaming hot rice cakes. Oh, there you go. Flaming hot rice cakes. Oh my God, not even the flaming hot Cheetos. I'd say like, have you seen those? Ooh, what, those Takis? Okay. Yeah, Takis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.